Hi Leo, sorry not Leo, Aquarius. Hi Aquarius, welcome to Carol's Universe, Tarines from Tarines from the Heart. Sorry that um, it's taking a bit of time to get videos to you guys on YouTube, been really busy with um, personals. So we're going to do your general reading for November 2017. You've got a love reading sitting next door to this reading as well. So Universe Spirit, show what's coming in for Aquarius. Summon and rising signs. Aquarius, summon and rising signs. What's coming in for Aquarius, summon and rising signs in the month of November 2017? Show me Aquarius, summon and rising signs. Aquarius, summon and rising signs. What's coming in for Aquarius, summon and rising signs in November 2017? Show me. All right, we're going to split the deck into three, collect it back up, and let's have a look what's coming in for you guys. Right, you guys, I think that you're walking away from something. You've got the Eight of Cups as the energies around you. So I feel that some of you guys are releasing something. You're letting something go that potentially was less than satisfying, especially on an emotional basis with that Eight of Cups. Your challenge is the Knight of Swords. So Aquarius, there could be a Gemini person around you who is a challenge to you with the, with the Knight of Swords. Might also be something to do with bullying or arguments or some very aggressive energy with that Knight of Swords energy. Because the reason that you're walking away is the Wheel of Fortune. So it might be that something came in unexpectedly with the Wheel of Fortune energy showing up here. It might be that you're walking towards some form of a destiny that you have. Wheel of Fortune deals with the ideas, the concept of destiny and fight in the recent past you've got the world so i think that whatever it is that you're walking towards here with the wheel of fortune some form of change possibly something the universal has brought in i think in the recent past with the world card you've experienced some form of an ending of a cycle you've got the most likely outcome being the two of wands i'm seeing you guys right at the gateway you're at the entrance of a new beginning with that two of wands a new direction is hearkening to you the immediate future shows a page of cups some good news or some form of a nice offer you've got some good news coming in for you aquarians the page of cups is showing up here right now you guys are the judgment card okay so i think that you've made a very important life decision showing up here with the judgment energy and as a result of that aquarius you guys are looking to follow that with the eight of cups because i feel that in your root issue the wheel of fortune i see a big change that came about it might have been unexpected in the recent past might be some of you guys went out into the world you've experienced something far away or distant from what you're used to but also the ending of a cycle your challenge is the knight of swords I feel that this is more about confidence. Your challenge might be having the confidence to go for whatever this is. And the result of this is the most likely outcome is the two of wands. You're at the start of some form of new direction, some form of venture showing here. You've got good news coming in with that page of Cups Aquarius in the immediate future. What you'll experience is the moon though. So the moon card represents anxieties, confusion and worries potentially with the moon energy. Maybe not enough information on a situation here. Hopes of the Ace of Swords make that breakthrough, make that change with the Ace of Swords energy showing their mental clarity as well, especially if what you're experiencing is confusion. The outcome shows the Knight of Cups. Some of you guys offer coming to you, some of you guys following a dream. Let's get to why you guys are judgment. So the situation is judgment. What's the situation around judgment? Why is Aquarius judgment in the month of November 2017? the seven of cups so i feel that you've made a judgment i think the situation is you were very confused it might be that you had many th choices to make many options around you a lot of confusion there with that seven of cups but i feel that you've made a very important life child uh, a very important life change with the judgment energy and i think it's because the situation around that is you, you were probably presented with many choices with that seven of cups energy in your foundation, we've got the Wheel of Fortune. Why is it in their foundation? Why is it in that in uh, Aquarius's foundation, this Wheel of Fortune? Why is the Wheel of Fortune in Aquarius' foundation? Show me. The Three of Wands. So the situation is about looking to the future with the Three of Wands. The Three of Wands can also be about making new connections. It can also be about travel. In the recent past, you guys experienced the world. What's the situation with the world card? What's the situation around the world card in the recent past? 
that tried to flip out before and I put it back in and it came out again six of cups I think that you guys in the recent past have ended there's been an ending of a cycle I think it concerns a very important relationship some of you guys might have been experiencing six of cups shows a soulmate connection or a very important family connection when you get the six of cups coming up you're very close to an individual with this and i think that there's been an ending of a cycle here i think it's concerning a very important relationship some of you guys might have been involved with the aquarius but your challenge is the knight of swords what's the situation with the knight of swords being the challenge for aquarius why is the knight of swords the challenge for aquarius because of the two of pentacles okay so i feel that the challenge is your confidence with that knight of swords going for whatever this new thing is with this knight of swords energy because the situation means that you're going to have to drop it all together two of pentacles in the reverse means to drop something drop something that's a burden here i think you're going to have to let something go and that's what your challenge is your challenge is going forth with confidence on this new journey this new path aquarius because you know the situation concerns with that two of pentacles you're going to have to perhaps for some of you guys even drop everything the most likely outcome no no as a result of that, the focus around you, the energies around you are the Eight of Cups. Why is the energies around Aquarius the Eight of Cups in November 2017? Because the situation is the Four of Pentacles. You guys don't want to change. You don't want to lose the status quo. You want to stay where you are. Four of Pentacles is a safety zone. It's where your safety place is. It's where you don't want to release and you don't want to come out of that safety net. And I think that your the energies are around walking away. So we've got the Eight of Cups being the energies around you. You're releasing something here. But the situation is about something that you are holding on to for dear life. And your challenge is going forth with confidence and vim and vigor with that Knight of Swords energy. Because you know that if you do this, you're going to have to drop everything else. And you don't want to do that. The most likely outcome will be the Two of Wands for you guys. What's the situation around the most likely outcome being the Two of Wands for Aquarius? Show me the temperance energy okay so the situation is about trying to make those adjustments it's about trying to reconcile and trying to find that balance and equilibrium in the situation for yourself so the most likely outcome i feel that you guys are going to be at a little bit of a crossroads with this situation here because the situation is about temperance trying to make something work trying to make those adjustments i think you're a bit at a crossroads with the two of wands there coming in you've got this page of cups what's the situation around the page of cups coming in for aquarius situations about the queen of cups You know, I get the impression that you're receiving something nice, but it's not really nice. This is, um, it's coming from a Queen of Cups in the reverse. This is somebody who doesn't want you to do something. This is somebody who's a drama queen. This is somebody who lives in fear when you get the Queen of Cups. This is somebody who cannot see that you need to do something. This is emotional blackmail, I feel, showing up here. Okay, you're receiving a nice message. But the situation, or who it's from, is a Queen of Cups. Why you're receiving it is because of the Queen of Cups in the reverse. Okay, I feel that you're, there's something about emotional blackmail coming in here. All right, and I feel that, you know, you guys here, you're showing us judgment. You're making a very important life-changing decision with that judgment energy. And the situation is around the Seven of Cups. So you're making a very important life decision over many choices or over a situation that was potentially very confusing here because in your foundation i think something unexpected came in i also feel that this is your life path it's your destiny because of the three of wands this is something that you've been waiting for for an awful long time and as a result of that what you're experiencing is the ending drawing a close to a particular situation in your life and it's around a very important uh, very important relationship possibly a very strong connection you have with another but your challenge is going forth with this situation with the knight of swords aquarius because you realize if you do you're going to have to drop everything with the two of coins in the reverse and as a result of that the energies are around walking away eight of cups why is that because i feel that some of you guys do feel burdened with that four of pentacles okay i feel that with the four of pentacles showing there you're walking away from someone 
who's making you feel very, very, very limited and very, very, very restrained in your life. Because you've got the four of coins here. And the reason why the energies around you are uh, the energies around you are about relinquishing and releasing something that no longer satisfies you it's because the situation is around the four of coins you're not growing as an individual four of coins represents staying the same it represents a lack of growth yes the person does have a whole heap of money over them they're very protected but I don't think that you're growing as an individual here. I think that you've been in some form of safety net. And the energies around you are about walking away from whatever this safety net is. Because I think in your foundation, your life path is here with this Wheel of Fortune. It's something that you've been waiting for all your life probably. You've been waiting for it. You've been longing for it. You've been looking for it. And I think it's come to you guys right now. But the problem is, as a result of that, you need to walk away Eight of Cups from the four of pentacles from a safety net from something that's held you back for quite a long time and as a result of that the most likely outcome will be that you'll be a little bit of a crossroads here because what you guys are trying to do is find a way that you can have both your cake and eat it at the same time so you're serving two masters one master is your own dreams and desires aquarius and the other master is another individual and i feel that it's this individual here that is giving you their praise, their love, good news, good well wishes with the Page of Cups. But it's based on the Queen of Cups energy. And the Queen of Cups in the reverse energy is somebody who's a drama queen. She's not always spiteful, but she's very fearful as a lady, as a person. She's the kind of person, well, you can go, but, you know, I'll be fine on my own. Don't worry about me. You know, no, go off and do your own thing. But, you know, I'll be okay. Don't worry about who I am. I'll just starve. You know, it's that type of energy. Some, I think somebody's doing a bit of emotional blackmail with those two cards coming in in the immediate future. And that's why you're experiencing the moon. What's the situation around the moon for Aquarius? What's the situation around the moon for Aquarius as an influence coming in? Show me. Because the situation is around the Five of Swords. I think that you're confused and you're worried and anxious because the situation is about putting yourself first with that Five of Swords energy. Five of Swords isn't always about a bad thing. Sometimes the Five of Swords will show up when you've got to put yourself first. And sometimes that's to the detriment of others. The guy here, who knows why the Third Swordsman's there like that and he's standing there. It's not always that he's feeling smug. Sometimes this person's saying, fuck off. I'm going to put myself first. And if I have to put myself first to the detriment of others, they're just going to have to accept it. I think you're confused because you're going to have to put yourself first with that Five of Swords, Aquarius. Your hopes will be the Ace of Swords. And what's the situation around Aquarius's hopes being this Ace of Swords? Show me. The Two of Swords. So your situation, your hopes will be the Ace of Swords, mental clarity. Because the Two of Swords energy... What is the insight that you've got? Well, again, two of swords, you've got great insight that you do need to put yourself first, no matter what. Seven of wands is also a card about putting oneself first. It's not just about rejection, it's about putting yourself first. All of these wands here, these six wands, Aquarius, are the people that are saying, they're either saying, don't do that, or they're saying, give it to me. And the seven, the man with the one wand is saying, no. I'm not giving it to you. I'm standing in my own power and that's that. So you guys, your hopes are the Ace of Swords. Follow your own path. Follow your own truth. Why is that? Because the situation is about, well, your insight. Two of Swords can also be, well, what does your insight, what does your instinct tell you? You've got to put yourself first again with that Seven of Wands energy. And the outcome shows the Knight of Cups following your dreams and what's the situation with the knight of cups showing up here why is the knight of cups the overall outcome for aquarius because of the hermit and this means i think the outcome is you guys following your dreams the knight of cups and why is that because you decide to completely withdraw hermit energy. Now the hermit energy is somebody who and it's in the reverse this is somebody who completely withdraws from others in order to, with that page of pentacles in the upright, start building something of strength and security and stability for themselves. 
this is about putting yourself first in November, Aquarius. I think you've got somebody around you who doesn't want you to do that. And I think they're using emotional blackmail so that you don't do it. But I think you're going to have to put yourself first in the situation here. We'll get this reading again. You guys are making a very important, you're showing us judgment. So you're making a very important life changing decision, perhaps with the judgment energy because of the seven of cups. You might have been presented with many choices here. Also, there might be some confusion around you because in your foundation, I feel that an amazing opportunity with that wheel of fortune has presented itself towards you. And I feel that the situation around that is this is something you've been waiting for for a long time with that three of wands energy something you felt was potentially out of reach in the recent past you've been drawing the end of a cycle to you've been drawing something to a close with that world energy showing there and that's around a very important relationship perhaps some of you guys were having to look after an individual the six of cups can also show it when you're having to look after people you're having to support them and i feel that you've been taking your support away generally from a very codependent relationship with an individual your challenge is being independent being confident and being self-serving and sometimes it's good to be self-serving with that knight of swords because you realize that to do that you're going to have to make a sacrifice and possibly just drop a couple of people or one or two you're going to have to really put yourself first here and as a result of that the focus will be on leaving behind what no longer serves you because the four of pentacles you're not growing as an individual Okay, Four of Pentacles for me is a great card, but sometimes this person doesn't come out of a comfort zone, so they don't know what it is to fail or to live. You know, So this is all about walking away so that it enables you to grow with that Four of Pentacles energy. The most likely outcome I feel with this Two of Wands, well, you'll be at a little bit of a conundrum, a little bit of a crossroads with the Two of Wands, because really what you want to do is you want to serve two masters, this temperance energy showing here. You want to be able to find a balance between serving yourself and also serving another individual. The immediate future, I feel that what you experience is nice words, loving words, kindness with that page of cups, nice message, but it will come from a queen of cups in the reverse, somebody who doesn't really want you to pursue your own path. What they're usually using, I feel, is emotional blackmail with this energy. They're being quite manipulative in terms of what they're telling you and what they're communicating to you. What you'd experience coming in, though, is confusion, the moon energy showing here. And why is that? Because you know with the Five of Swords energy, you need to put yourself first here. Okay, this is difficult for you, and I feel that you're going to be feeling very, very anxious with that moon energy because the situation is about putting yourself first. You become the third swordsman, Aquarius, and you have to put yourself first to the detriment of anybody else's feelings. Your hopes would be, well, to have the strength, fortitude and vigour with the Ace of Swords to enable you to cut through the guilt and to actually start on this new life path because you have insight to a sword showing here that you need to put yourself first with that Seven of Wands and again it's to the detriment of anybody else no matter how much they ask you no matter how much they beg you it's a case of I have to do this for myself the outcome shows you guys I feel with the Knight of Cups following your dreams and that's because the situation is completely withdrawing from whoever it is this person is that wants to hold you back in order to follow your own dreams with the Ace of Pentacles and start building a solid foundation for yourself with that card so Universe Spirit what is the advice you have for Aquarius on this reading what's the advice that you have for Aquarius show me in one to two cards King of Swords so this is all about and this is you this is you Aquarius you came out here you're gonna have to stand in your power all right with this King of Swords and sometimes this means emotionally detaching yourself from certain people this means using your head over your heart when you get the King of Swords you're gonna use your head over your heart in this situation with that King of Swords so yeah, I mean, using your head over your heart, emotionally detaching with that King of Swords will mean that you'll have to make sacrifices with the Five of Cups and it will mean having to sacrifice certain friendships and love around you, Aquarius, okay? I don't think you want to do it, but you know, sometimes when you have to grow as a person, Aquarius, you have to just say no, all right? And this insight that you've got here in your hopes is to say no and stand in your power. 
is to stand your ground. Seven of Wands is standing your ground, no matter what anybody says to you. Sometimes the Seven of Wands can be people that are saying, don't do this, and you stand your ground, you say, well, actually, I am. And sometimes the Seven of Wands is, please give it to me. And the person's like, no, I'm not doing it. So you've got insight here with this Two of Swords that you're going to need to stand in your power, no matter what anybody's saying to you. And I'm seeing a little bit of emotional blackmail, I feel, coming up. You've got this page of cups coming in. This is all nice. But it's the situation around that is the Queen of Cups. So who is it that's delivering the message to you? I feel it's the Queen of Cups showing here. I think it's somebody who's doing some emotional blackmail with you. But your hopes will be... But what's coming in is this moon. Now, the moon card is all about feeling anxious and nervous. There's a lot of nervous energy coming in with the moon energy. But it's because the situation is the Five of Swords, putting yourself out and cutting people out. Even if it hurts them, you're going to have to do this. And the outcome shows following your dream knight of cups energy is following dreams because the situation around that in order to follow a dream you guys are going to have to completely become quite selfish with that hermit card in the reverse in order to start building something of vitality strength and stability for yourself with the ace of pentacles in order to follow this new beginnings and start building on it and unfortunately the advice really is you know what king of swords aquarius is a king of swords card remember king of swords in the tarot will always represent an aquarius person so this is you guys on the card you will have to become quite cold and detached but more standing your logic and not so much your heart okay and that might just result in having to lose friendships and people but if you want to move on sometimes you have to become this person sometimes the nice guy doesn't always win Aquarius and I think in this reading it's a case of you know sometimes you've got to be cruel to be kind and this is all about you this month in November if you want to move forward you're going to have to make some sacrifices you really are okay that's your reading Aquarius look forward to doing uh, for you guys seeing your love reading it sitting next door to this one and i'll speak to you guys soon take care